Well, I'm Bronwyn Thomas. I always knew I was going to be a farmer. It's just something that I'm just very passionate about. As I said, some people are born to be nurses and teachers. I was just born to be a farmer. Married a wool classer. We are very fortunate to have four very happy, healthy children. Two boys and two girls. We would envision that one of our children to go onto the farm would be fantastic. But I'm sure after being brought up on the land that it will hopefully be in their blood somewhere. I think Australia needs farmers. I've always had a passion for agriculture and we have, both of us always feel very um, strong about agriculture, especially Australian agriculture. And the commodities that Australia produces is unique to Australia. The climate is changing. It's changing for various reasons. It may be because of our impact on the practices that we use. It may be the impact of industries in our cities. But certainly we need to look after the land that we do have. We are caretakers of our land. My first recollection of this period that we're going through was probably in my own experiences in the 80s. I was droughts in the 80s. It's that cycle of life. And dust. You can't have a drought without dust. Although now we're experiencing what they call a green drought, yeah, we've had rain, but it's only green. It's a bit like you can't judge a book by its cover. What is happening in our paddocks to the untrained eye, you might think, gee, you know, what are they saying? But if we don't get our follow-up rains, it is reaching a very critical point within our season at the moment. So our landscapes at the moment to the untrained eye probably look fantastic. And they do. It looks better than the brown. But the fact is that we still need this follow-up rain. So we're not out of it yet. Our relationships throughout the drought have probably become stronger. It's typically known that rural families and communities are very resilient and will remain to be resilient. Our rapport with each other is, is one of looking out for a mate. Sometimes it probably couldn't be understood for those who don't know. It always takes is just a, a phone call or a quick couple with somebody or a hello or even it is just a quiet beer with a friend. Sometimes that's all it takes to lift spirits. In a very informal way, you're checking up on that person. Farmers are an optimistic mob. Like, we're always optimistic. It'll rain, it's going to rain. Seasons are going to come good. But I think we have to be, because we are all still happy, we're all still healthy. We all still have a roof over our heads. We can all still provide a meal on our tables. As you know, there's people in our society who can't, can't do that. So we've got to be very pleased and satisfied that we're still able to do that, even though we are going through tight times. And as a farmer, we choose to be farmers, so we can't complain about what we're going through, because this is our job, this is our business, so we have chosen to do this. People choose their career paths, and these are our career paths, so we do have to ride the waves, in other words. Unfortunately, like anything, we have to deal with nature, that's part of our job. And as you're well aware of Darwin's theory, it is survival of the fittest. That's what farming is, like it or not, it's survival of the fittest. And it's those that are versatile and can adapt to change will survive. But as you know, that those farmers who can't adapt to change and are inflexible for various reasons, they will have to exit the industry. And like it or not, it probably has taken a drought for that to happen. Those farmers are not meant to be farming. And we need to treat our farming enterprises as a business if we're going to survive. My name is Brandon Thomas and this is my poem called Dream. No rain today or tomorrow, so dream the land is not hollow, so have no sorrow, so dream it will rain tomorrow. D is for the dry land, R is for the rough plain. O is for the outstanding efforts, U is for the unbelievable strength. G is for the ground so dry and rough, R is for the hot heat of the raising sun. T is for the tough people that live with it. As I stand in the shed, as I think of the drought in my head, as I lay in my bed, my dad said not to be sorry because you don't have to worry.